Turn in the Waste, the festival, bringing the mind back. So this odd idea that Chinese teachers use, this void point, whatever a void point might be, some sort of little void out in front of your third eye. And as you draw that back in, it's almost like drawing the whole of the universe back in through your third eye, deep inside. And then gently allowing that to draw down from upper dantian, gently down into middle dantian, and slowly deep into lower dantian. We just settle down, draw our mind back, relax deep inside. Find the core of your body, the very center. The whole body relaxes. We're just going to check in with our back. Gently turn your back. Just look softly over your shoulder. See how it feels. Check into your spine and your hips, your neck. And then gently come back to the front. We do the same for the other side. Just gives us a moment to assess our spine, see how it is. If the morning's a bit cold, it's always good just to look into it. You can do the same on the other side again. Just do this twice before we gently release our waist. So it just gives you a clue if something's a bit stiff, a bit cold, a bit grumpy this morning. And then we can release, just gently turn the waist. Now the hands to softly tap wherever they fall. So we'll do 10 minutes of gentle warm-ups, and then we're going to do our standing qigong, our self-healing session. So these Wednesday morning classes always have the same shape, a gentle warm-up. But if you're catching up on YouTube and you don't want to do the warm-up, you can just go 10 minutes forward and you'll find the beginning of the standing class. But I like to do a warm-up. I think it's nice just to get the qi flowing in the body, just to loosen the muscles and joints. Each little tap onto the body is a vibration of energy moving through your body. Your diaphragm creates this almost like a drum skin thought inside you. So each time you tap, you get a little vibration of chi. So talking of vibration today, last week was a, a good reason to go to a little La Chi class as a, a recap. But the week before, we were working with sound and vibration. So I intend to carry on that theme, just working with the six sacred sounds, just letting the body vibrate itself from inside. And as I always say, it's a... I can only ever paraphrase Nikolai Tesla's uh, quote, but he basically says, if you want to know anything about the universe, look to energy and vibration. Not quite sure there's a third one in there, but energy and vibration. And I think that's exactly true of us. I think it's the most beautiful thing on earth that we're given this ability to vibrate ourselves using our voice box. How extraordinary, what an amazing gift to be able to find a frequency inside ourselves that vibrates. Every organ in our bodies that vibrates all the way through. And so we're going to use vibrational medicine today just to stimulate each of our organs. Just let our organs gently move and relax. Okay, so we can take this to the second stage of this exercise, just by slowing the body down, but let's make the move a little bit bigger. So now you can look back over your shoulders, use your neck as well, to stretch the whole spine out.
gently looking back. If you find yourself feeling lightheaded, just move your mind into your toes. Squeeze your big toes gently against the ground and feel the space between your big toes and the ground. Then move on to the next toe. Maybe called the index toe, who knows. Squeeze the middle toe, ring toe, the little toes. Just experience that space. And in so doing, you draw the energy from your mind down into your toes. Ida, chi da, chi starts to balance. Otherwise, keep your mind gently in lower dantian, deep inside you. Okay, a few more soft, easy turns. Then let the whole exercise gently subside. No need to speed to a stop. Just let the whole thing gently wind down. Hands go deep into the earth and gently lift chi up. Gathering a beautiful ball of chi. Draw this energy up above by way, the crown of the head. And then just gently release shoulders and elbows, wrists and hands, pouring chi down through Bai Hui on top of the head, through the crown chakra, deep inside the brain. Move the chi down through your throat, drawing any excess chi down into your chest. From your chest down deep into the belly where we gather the chi and hold the chi just for a moment. And then release the hands and just imagine the lovely flow of energy, like completing a circuit down your legs back into the earth. Let's lift and gather again. So generally three times is enough to bring you back into a nice, easy balance. But if you find yourself feeling lightheaded from these exercises, you can do this 10 times. It doesn't matter how long you do it. Then you can just come and join in with whatever else we're doing. So find this way for this chi to be drawn deep into the belly, finding its way home, into the chi home deep in your belly, and making this lovely connection through your legs back into the earth. Let's lift and go, draw chi. Bringing about perfect balance. Finding your way to a perfect balance. Chi hmm. and blood flowing well through your body. So we'll do our, our forward and back bends next. So gently lift the hands up, just as if we were doing the same exercise. Draw your hands up into the blue sky. Lovely long stretch, really opening up the whole of your body into the blue sky. And then we're going to bend over just the head and the arms. Just take over the top of your spine, bending the neck right over. The body stays straight. And then we can release the upper back. Gently release the middle back and slowly release the lower back, keeping your knees soft and really relaxing your neck. Whole back of the neck is soft and relaxed. Body hangs and relaxes. So nice and easy. We imagine our foot in quarters, gently split, stretch down to the first line between your toes. And then relax, release, imagining a line drawn between the roots of your toes, stretch towards that. And release, imagining a line drawn between your insteps. So as you can see, each little bend gets just slightly deeper. And release, and the final line is between your heels. 
or just go as deep as you comfortably wish into a nice, easy bend. And then just allow the body to hang and relax. Lift the tailbone so it points up into the blue sky behind you. You feel your legs straighten a little bit. Push the tailbone towards the front of the body and we start to assemble the spine, vertebra by vertebra by vertebra. We try and bring up the arms and the ears beside each other, not pressed against each other, just coordinated. Draw up, draw up, draw up, and stretch up into the blue sky, blue sky, G. And then softly release, knees and hips forward. You can gently lean backwards. Stretch into the blue sky. We're opening from the breastbone all the way to the middle fingers, gently stretching up. Up. Soft exhalation as you go back. Up. And gently back. Hands up into the blue sky. So arms and ears coordinated, just taking over the nape of the neck. Then the upper back starts to bend and the middle back starts to arch. The lower back starts to arch over gently. We sink and settle and relax our way down. Soft knees, body hangs. Back of the neck is deeply relaxed. A little extension towards the toes. And release in line with the roots of our toes. And release, working towards our insteps. And release, and back towards our heels. Lovely deep bend. Relax and release, the body gently hangs. Let's lift the tailbone up behind, push tailbone to the front, roll spine up, and then head and arms and ears gently come up. Gently bring the body up. Slowly opening and stretching. From the knees, up the front of the body, through the chest, the middle fingers, leaning back, opening the front of the body, and then stretching up. Open Renmai. And stretch up. Three. And stretch. And then a fourth time. Stretch up. Okay, let's try and do these exercises with straight legs now. So just arms and ears tipping over, just bending the nape of the neck. The rest of the body stays nice and straight. When the arms are parallel to the floor, that's when you can start to bend into your upper back. Bend the middle back and bend the lower back, but keep the legs straight just allowing the hamstrings to really open, really stretch open. Just relax and soften. But the legs stay straight. You can tuck your tummy in slightly. Back of the neck is soft. Try shifting the weight a tiny bit forward to your toes. Just feel that little extra hamstring extension up the back of the legs. Opening the legs. Softening the back of the legs. Great. A little extension to the toes. Stretch down. And release. In line with the roots of our toes. Stretch down. And release. In line with our insteps. Stretch down. And release. In line with our heels. Body hangs and relaxes. Tailbone lifts up behind. Tailbone gently pushes to the front. Spine starts to roll up, scroll up. Arms and ears gently come up at the same speed. Stretch up into the blue sky. Blue sky chi. Releasing from the breastbone to the fingertips, leaning gently back. And stretch up. Sometimes do a little side bend here as I'm doing this. Just back and slightly off to one side. Very good for your sciatica. And then up. Just gently going the other way. And up. 
and then straight back again. Stretch up, arms and ears tipping over. Let's do the last one. Keep the legs straight, rolling down, body relaxes down, sinking, settling. Legs stay straight, body hangs. Extend softly towards your toes and release in line with the roots of your toes and release in line with the insteps and release in line with the heels. Body hangs and relaxes. Just lift the tailbone up behind, push the tailbone to the front, roll spine up, draw up arms and ears, stretch gently up into the blue sky. Nice look, stretch up. And again, releasing knees and hips as you lean back. Stretch up, gently back. Stretch up, back. Last time, back, stretch up, hands up into the blue sky, just release the hands gently down the sides, relaxing the chi down in your body. As the hands move down, the chi sinks down, down to lower down to you. We can gather and just balance ourselves once more, lift up. Feel the chi pour down through your body, this torrent of energy moving down. Drawing chi from your head, moving chi deep into your chest, focusing the chi from your chest into your belly, sinking, settling, relaxing. Gather again, lift up. Let the chi pour. Draw the chi deep inside. Last one settles deep into the belly. One more time. There's also this feeling of filling the body with chi, drawing all this beautiful energy in, but also releasing from deep inside. So we draw the chi down into the belly. But as you release the hands, you can imagine chi flows away that's no longer needed. This is a beautiful balancing exercise. Okay, lastly, just some simple side bends to finish with. Take your right hand, drift it up into the blue sky. Nice long stretch. When we exhale, we tip gently over to the left hand side. Softly opening the right side of the body. Gently breathe in. As you exhale, stretch to the left. Breathing in. Stretching left. Gentle breath in. And stretch. Breathing in. Stretch. Take your right hand up into the blue sky. Breathe in. As you exhale, the hands swap over. In breath, stretches the left hand up. Out breath takes the left hand over to the right. Gentle breath in. Breathe out and stretch. Breathe in. Gentle stretch. Breathing in. From your left shoulder to your left middle finger. Once more. Take a breath in, gather the hand up into the blue sky. To breathe out the hands, exchange. Now we're going to see if we can open from the left, right ankle to the right middle finger. Breathe in and stretch up. 
Imagine that arc all the way from your right ankle to your right middle finger, opening the whole right side of the body. Gentle breath in. Extending from your ankle through your shoulder to your finger. Breathing. And stretch. Breathe in. And stretch. Taking the right hand up into the blue sky. Exchange hands for the last time. Draw left hand up. Over to the right. Breathe in. Extending from the left ankle, left shoulder, left middle finger, stretch. Breathing in and stretch. Breathing in and stretch. Breathing in, lift both hands up into the blue sky. Breathe out, release the hands down the sides. Once again, we gather beautiful handfuls of chi, lifting up this beautiful chi from the earth, drawing this beautiful chi into the blue sky to mix a perfect yin and yang energy, and then pour it down through your body. So it's a perfect balance of energy. Whatever the body requires can be gathered from this. Of course, Dr. Pang kind of updates yin and yang theory. So he says that just imagine that everything is Hun Yuan Chi, lifting the perfect balance of energy up into the blue sky. And as we pour it through, everything that's required fills your body, but you're able to cleanse and move and release patterns, stories, illness, released from your body. Gather Chi. Chida. Like caressing the chi all the way through your body, a huge chi hug deep inside your body. The next time we gather, we're just going to draw everything back to lower dantian. So lift chi up. And as you pour chi down, the focus is all to lower down tian, and we can bring our hands to rest on lower down tian. Deep inside. Gathering the hands onto lower down tian. Lower down tian becomes abundant. Blood and chi flow well through your body. Every joint is open. Every muscle. Gently stretched, sinews, strong, stretched, tendons, strong, stretched, joints working well, the whole physicality of your body working really well. So now we're going to tend to our internal self, work with our organs and our emotions. But first, find a comfortable standing stance. So maybe you just want to check through yours. We have a nice, generous, wide stance. Shoulder width at least. In medical Qigong, we go even wider than that. So make it really generous. Don't get stuck at hip width. Allow your knees just to soften and unlock. There's this little circular motion at the belly. First of all, it starts with the tailbone softly tipping forwards. In between the legs, Hoi Yin gently lifting up. And then Ming Men moving backwards. Lower Dan Tian and Ming Men moving backwards. Then Wei Lu, the tailbone, sits down. There's a lovely gentle motion that flows towards the back and straightens the lower back out. We remind ourselves to soften into our knees. 
Wei Lu, the tailbone drawing down, is matched by Bai Hui, top of the head, lifting up. Just drawing the spine nice and long and straight. Just allow your chin to gently move back towards the spine. Just straightening out the cervical curve. So with that tiny little tuck of the tailbone forwards, the lower back straightens, and the tiny little tuck of the chin backwards, the upper spine straightens. Tailbone's pulling down, top of the head pushing up. Your spine is as straight as it will ever be. Lovely straight spine. Blood and chi flowing well in your spine. Vertebra open. Space between each vertebra. So very often we hear stories about collapsed cartilage and sort of things that happen to your spine. Just imagine that there's beautiful space between each of your vertebra. Plump cartilage, like little pillows inserted between your vertebra. Lovely space in between. The spine gently expands downwards, and gently draws upwards. You can make sure there's beautiful space between each of those vertebra. Generous spine. Soften your chest. Sometimes we can stand a bit like a soldier with a proud chest. But now we take up a humble stance. Really relax your body. Let your mind soften and open, gently expanding. We imagine this intimate connection between the earth and earth chi flowing into our body. We imagine this intimate connection between Bai Hui on top of the head and the blue sky and blue sky chi pouring down. Perfectly connected. But also we have this idea no inside, no outside. With your eyes closed, it becomes difficult for you to feel where your skin ends, and where the chi begins, because there is no barrier between you and the outside world. You are chi. There is no difference between the chi of nature and you. You're part of this beautiful ecosystem. Soften into the chi field around you. Allow your whole body to relax. Allow the mind to be soft and clear. Sometimes we imagine the image of an alpine lake as a little pond pool of water crystal clear rainwater reflecting the blue sky. Your mind like that. Crystal clear. Fresh, clear, clean. Still. Blue sky mind. Blue sky body. Search your mind gently through your body. Is there anything you particularly wish to work with today? It's funny because sometimes we have a very logical idea of what it is that we should be working with. When you first scan through your body, something completely different might come up. Trust your body to know what it needs to do today. So if you suddenly find yourself working with your knees when you thought you were supposed to be working with your kidneys, that's fine. Just do it. Just let your body do it. And then you find that the kidney channel runs through the knees anyway, so everything good. Your body knows its way around. <clears throat> so we just have to trust our bodies to work with what it's needed today. It's a holistic system. 
and trust your body. It knows how to heal you much better than your brain does. So we can just imagine illuminating somewhere deep inside our body. Imagine bringing your attention there just for a moment and sending your healing energy like a big ray of light to that area. Once you've sent your chi, you don't have to keep doing that. You can just draw your mind back, back into the belly, into the chi home. Safe in the knowledge that all the healing will go to the right place. That your body innately knows how to heal. So over the weeks of these healing classes, we've talked a lot about the patterns that can get in the way of our life. But all we're doing today is setting the mind aside. Just switch the mind off for a little while. And let the body do its thing. Get the mind out of the way. So just for a moment, how would it be if you put away all the thoughts about your parents, the things they'd said, the things you've learned, the stories they've told, your grandparents, your family background, just let it down, put it down. How would it be if you were to put down all of the things about your brothers and your sisters, your family, and just let them go? So they no longer operate on you, just for a little while. How would it be if you released the stories given to you by religion, by school, by state, the government. <laughs> How about just allowing all of those stories to relax? All the stories given to you by society, <laughs> things you must do, the things you should do. Put them down for a minute. What about if you put down the stories from work? How about you give up the stories you tell yourself from friends and from lovers, from partners? How about you give up the stories you tell yourself as well? The mantras that you have inside, the criticisms. You could just give all of those up for a moment. When we move away all these stories that apparently make us up, what's left? What's left? Just a perfect, true version of you. Radiant, beautiful, a beautiful heart, beautiful soul, beautiful spirit, beautiful being, unaffected by life. See yourself as a radiant being of light. Know that you have the ability to heal yourself at the deepest of deep levels. This is healing from your true self. This is way beyond the story of the body. This is way beyond the story of your illnesses. This is way beyond unnatural comprehension. Now we're at the level of universality, universal chi.
So rather than just experiencing your body, start to experience everything around you. Start to experience the vastness of our universe. Sometimes people find universe a bit big and scary. So blue sky is beautiful too. Just think of blue sky. But if you wish to think about our universe, think of the vastness, the planets, the stars. Think of the Milky Way. So beyond our solar system, galaxies beyond. Allow yourself to feel the vast openness of our universe. Allow yourself to drift to the four corners of our universe. There's this lovely idea that our universe is contained in a container of all of the information that ever has been and ever will be. Imagine something like a library, a vast building. In your mind's eye, see this beautiful building. Imagine that this wonderful library contains all the information of everybody and everything. Perhaps the problem is that you've lost the original blueprint of you. Imagine you can refine that and just remind every cell of your body what's required, what you wanted how it was supposed to be. The information for your healing is here, available to you. Just imagine you could open the doors of this vast library and walk in. You see books everywhere. You see levels and layers and shelves all over the place. Steps up to other floors vast reading room. Make your library as grand and as amazing as you wish. But you know how to move through it. You know where to go to. Find your way moving through. Go to a staircase, go to a ladder, go to a bookshelf. Find a book that is the book of you. couldn't help myself thinking of that Hollywood image of when you open the book and there's a kind of light coming out of it. <laughs> Just imagine this beautiful book bathing you with information, finding the story of you, perhaps the story of you through life after life, all this fantastic information that you can read and gather. You can draw back into yourself. Just imagine that. How does your body feel? It's filled with this new information, the way things should always have been. Suddenly understanding why things have been so complex, understanding the master plan, understanding why the difficulties arose, understanding all of these things instantaneously. That kind of aha moment where you think to yourself, ah, that's why it's so complex. That's why it's so difficult. That's why this happened. It's like reading to the end of the book, isn't it? Just looking at the last chapter and thinking, oh, yeah, okay, now I understand. Hold this information deep in every cell of your body. Hold this good information deep in every cell of your body. Good, and then we can gently close this beautiful book of our lives, thank it for this fantastic information, put it back onto the shelf. Gently wander out of our vast, amazing library at the end of the universe. 
Just feel like you've drawn all the information you need to make you whole once again. Find all the information you need to make yourself heal in this time and space. Gently draw yourself back through the universe. We can find our solar system with our beautiful planets and our beautiful sun. There somewhere is a little blue planet, our Earth. Draw our way back to our beautiful Earth. You could stop with a super satellite view of our beautiful planet and perhaps you just want to send love back. Perhaps there's someone who really needs your help today. Somewhere that could really do with bathing in chi and love. Why not just send love to them for a few moments? Feel that your unconditional love can change their life. And then we start to draw ourselves slowly back, finding our country, finding our county, finding our city, finding our house, wherever we might be, finding our workspace, finding our bodies once more. And now as we inhabit our body once more, we bring back this fantastic healing information for every single cell. This vast factory of your body and every single cell like a department in the factory getting new orders. Ah, that's what we're supposed to be doing. Every single cell responds to this new information. Every single cell working well. And so now we're going to gently move on to the idea of vibrating our bodies. Just a little vibration deep inside. It's springtime. It's at this time of year we work with liver and spleen. The liver sits on the right-hand side, just underneath your right ribs. goes across towards the left underneath the left ribs, liver and spleen, they're kind of like twins who've been separated at birth. They do so much of the same thing together. So we can think of this whole area of our body. We use a tone, shoo, S-H-U-U-U. You often find shoo being used to relax and calm. And the idea is that for our liver, we're looking for a smooth flow of chi through the body. And so very often when people are uncoordinated and wooden and uh, statuesque-like, this is because their liver chi isn't flowing smoothly. And so we can soften the liver and soften the um, spleen and soften the flow of chi deep inside just by gently saying, shoo. And then maybe you might want to use a head tone, which is high, shoo, but maybe you want to use a deeper tone, shoo, down in your body. So whatever seems right to you. We'll just do about half a dozen tones for each of the organs. Do you want to have your hands on the liver and spleen? You can just gently massage on the liver and spleen while you're making your tone. Or perhaps you just want to have the hands in front or resting, wherever. No right or wrong, just let your body dictate what it feels like today. Let's take a gentle breath in and thinking of the liver, breathe in. Then we say, Gentle breath in. Breathing deep. softly massaging the liver, perhaps just feeling the blood and chi flowing well. The emotion, the negative emotion of the liver is anger. 
So as we start to vibrate our liver, we can lessen our propensity for anger. Sometimes we have a kind of flash temper that can suddenly arise, suddenly angry, so quickly. We see that very often, the flush of blood into the cheeks as someone gets really cross and angry. So now we're softening and relaxing our level with the tone shoe. And as we soften and relax and ease the liver, our propensity for anger just drains away. Let's just do that a few more times. Shoo. Breathing deeply. Shoo. Vibrating deep inside. Last time. Blood and chi flowing well in the liver. All functions of the liver returning to perfect working order. Liver and spleen in perfect harmony. Gallbladder, perfect harmony. Everything working well. All anger abates. Becoming calm and relaxed. Settled. Okay, so we move from springtime now into summertime. That's your beautiful heart, deep in the center of your chest. The heart tone is quite nice. We just say hal, H-A-A-A-A. But the nice thing about hal is that you can actually say it in a way and feel it vibrate underneath your palms. Feel the pericardium muscle around your heart vibrating to this tone. So it gives you a lovely feedback about what you're actually doing here. You're actually creating a deep vibration in your body that moves the organs, loosens the chi inside, allows the blood to flow well, allows the natural function to become strong. So hard. We always have the image of the motorbike thug. On one hand, he has tattooed love, and on the other hand, he has tattooed hate. And that's heart, love deep inside. But we can also have this unpleasant edge. And so now, as we relax our hearts, all hatred dissolves, compassion arises, joy comes to the surface. Happiness becomes our thing. So vibrate your heart with the tone ha. Feel love releasing throughout your body. Having worked physically on people a lot, sometimes it feels like they have a knight's armor over their heart. Huge doors like castle gates closing their heart. Trust and allow your heart to gently open. Allow your heart to be seen. Allow love to arise naturally. Okay, so let's say heart. And again, you can rub your heart or have your hands in front of your heart, whatever seems right to you. Gentle breath in then. Then we say, breathing in.
feeling your heart softly vibrating deep in the center of your chest. Love and compassion swelling deep inside your breast. Oh. Once more. Softly, deep, deep inside. Feel the chi, the depth of your heart. Blood and chi flow well through your heart. All of the functions of your heart returning to perfect working order. Heart strong, pericardium strong, the valve strong, the aorta strong. Everything working well deep inside your heart. Love blossoming. Heart open. Big smile on your face. So we have this lovely extra season called late summer. It's that beautiful time of year when the harvest comes in, when everything is gold and long, hot, sultry days. Late summer relates to our pancreas. Pancreas sits on the left-hand side, just under the ribs. Pancreas balanced with stomach. So it's all about digestion, all about storage of energy. It's about taking in the grain. So pancreas is thought of your grain store, where the energy stays deep inside. We gather all this energy and then we start to process it and take it into our bodies. So 50% of our chi comes in through our food, 50% through our breath. So this is an important part of our body, getting all this energy deep inside. We can stimulate this by saying the tone. Ooh. It's got a strange blow at the beginning, like trying to blow out a candle. And it starts as, and then it becomes... Ooh. Ooh. like an owl saying ooh. And so we have our, our pancreas and our stomach on the left-hand side. You can massage it if you wish. Hold it if you wish. Have your hands in front of it. It's all about trust. It's all about trusting appropriately. Some people can just overtrust too much. Some people are lovely and open and just allow themselves to be taken advantage of. So when we work with this level, we become much more careful. We trust people beautifully, but to exactly the right degree. We don't give without thinking. So it brings back this perfect balance to our lives, but also there's an element of thought and thinking involved in pancreas. In Chinese medicine, the syndrome is called overthinking. And I think we Western mind people can do too much of that so often. Overthinking, chewing thoughts over, going over and over again and again. So we have this dual aspect of finding the right balance of trust in our lives and not worrying so much. Trying to release these layers of worry and overthinking. And I think that's true, that if you can come to the right decision quickly and just trust that you've made the right decision, then you don't need to overthink anymore. You don't need to chew situations over. Your trust level just says, yep, this is the answer. Let's do it. And then your mind can be relaxed and not worry about it. So let's balance out our spleens with who. 
gentle breath in. Deep into the stomach, deep into the pancreas, breathing in. One last time. Feeling this balance returning to trust, feeling this mind calming, feeling worries gently subside. Blood and chi flow well through the pancreas, through the stomach, through our whole digestive self, everything working well. We can digest our ideas much better, digest our thoughts cleanly and easily, digest our food well, gather all the energy we need. Ah, so after that lovely late season, late summer season, comes autumn, and that's the province of the lungs. Goodness, the lungs hold heavy emotions, sadness, shame, sorrow, guilt, grief. <laughs> Tons of motion deep in the lungs. So let's try and, try and release some of the pressure on our lungs today. It's like a, um, what do they call them? Pressure cooker releasing. Hissing as the steam comes out. Same for your lungs. We release the pressure deep inside with a s s s s s s hissing like a snake. And as we do so, you can imagine releasing like a grey cloud of toxic emotion, releasing any guilt you might have, grief you might be holding, shame, sorrow. All of them released at the re deepest level. Guilt released at the deepest level. These things hold us down. These emotions deep inside our lungs. The weight of the world carried here. So when we hiss through our teeth, little alveoli deep inside your lungs vibrate beautifully. The little vibration, the tips of the, it, I'm afraid my, my image of the lungs when I'm explaining to people, it's like pieces of broccoli stuck upside down into a bag. <laughs> so you can imagine the alveoli, like the little florets in the end of the broccoli. You can just imagine it vibrating deep inside your chest, releasing all these emotions. But of course, we're also getting the blood and chi flowing right to the very tips, deep inside your lungs. So just see your lungs vibrating inside, releasing emotions. Okay, breathe deep.
You can massage on your lungs. You could even gently tap with your fingertips on your lungs. Nice gentle breath in to fill the lung with fresh healing chi. Release emotion. Breathing deep. Fill your lungs fresh chi. Two more breaths. Last time. Releasing guilt, releasing grief, sadness, shame, sorrow, released at the deepest level of your lungs. Vibration deep in your lungs moves these emotions, releases these emotions. Feel the lightness your body feels. Feel the weight lifted off your chest. All functions of your lungs working well, deep inside your lungs. Blood and chi flowing well. Ah. All lung functions returning to perfect working order. Good, and to finish off, we have our kidneys. So you could actually put your hands on your kidneys, take them around behind and rest them on your back, on the ribs at the back. We could have them on the front, just resting on your ribs and imagine going deep inside. So we find our kidneys on the left and right, just the lower level of the lowest rib is the bottom of the kidney. So we can just feel this area of the lower back. So the kidney tone is a strange one. Chu, C-H-E-W, chu, chu, and then we say re, chu, re. Curious tone. But the interesting idea is behind chu is that when you say chu, it's quite a plosive tone. And it makes your diaphragm jump. It actually makes your kidneys jump, and your kidneys like jumping. Little bounce of your kidneys. So each time you say "chew," your kidneys jump up, and then you just vibrates the kidneys deep inside. So our kidneys all about fear, fear that we. It's really about um, what's the word I'm searching for? Um, fear that you can't even irrational that's the kind of thing i was looking for irrational fear you don't even know why you're scared you think to yourself gosh as a teenager i would never have been scared of that but now as an adult you think oh that's terrifying it's that kind of irrational fear and we don't quite know why but it underscores everything in our life fear of getting on a plane fear of going to a different country fear of being I don't know, committed, fear of walking somewhere that you don't know, fear of going to meet someone. All of these things 
we don't know quite why we're scared of them. We look at them. And sometimes when you step up to them, they're just like a mirage. <clears throat> and after you've done this and after you've faced your fear, you think to yourself, why was I so worried? What was that all about? Why did I not want to go there on my own? It was so wonderful, you know. But those fears can pin us in place. The older we get, the more propensity we have to say, uh, no, no is our first answer. Would you like to go somewhere? No, no. And then you think about it and you think, hmm, well, maybe it's a yes, actually. But your first answer is a fearful answer. Guard against allowing that fear to limit your life. Live, laugh, laugh. Allow fear to subside. So we're just going to go deep into our kidneys. We can gently massage the kidneys or just have the hands, the back of the hands on the kidneys. Whatever suits. And let's try chew re. So you allow that first chew to be almost spat out. And then re rings out. So breathe in. And breathing in. The E tone is clarifying your kidneys, vibrating deep inside. I don't know where these things pop up in my head from the islets of Langerhans. <laughs> I think that's a bit of your kidney. I have no idea. I think they look like sort of hairy things. Just imagine something inside your kidney vibrating to your tone, breathing deep. Deep inside the kidneys, breathing deep. Couple more kidney tones just to release our fear. Last one. You could gently rub onto your kidneys or rub in front of your kidneys, just massaging and letting the blood and chi flow well. All of the fear in your life gently dissipates. This reveals you as the true warrior you really are. Deep inside, blood and chi flowing. All functions of your kidneys returning to perfect wording, working order. So we finish off just with one last tone, right in the center of your chest, behind the breastbone, deep inside. Little Dan Tien supplies chi into all of your organs. And we just balance everything out by saying she, S-H-E-E-E. -E -E. So take a gentle breath in. She. G. 
gently at the deep in the center of your chest. Middle Dantian Chi is abundant. Blood and Chi flow well through all of your organs. Find your organs in perfect balance, perfect working order, harmony with each other. Again, for Shi. This knock on effect, all the minor organs benefit from the major organs' health. So, the minor organs, things like your large intestine, small intestine, bladder, gallbladder, pericardium, muscle around your heart. Um, what did I miss out? Stomach. Everything working well. Also coming into perfect balance with their major organs, with all of the other organs, the whole system of your body. Blood and chi flowing well. Let's just say she one more time to bring balance. She... blood and chi flowing well, all functions of your body returning to perfect working order. We've released all these negative emotions. We've allowed them to drain out of our bodies. In their place, all of the positive emotions, such as love and joy, happiness, trust arising in our bodies. We start to feel the change taking place vibrating our bodies at a cellular level, at a DNA level, at a molecular level, your body can make a tone that can release any blockage anywhere in your body. This extraordinary function built into our lives. It's why we love to sing so much. This incredible function vibrates deep inside. As you stand here now, scan through your body. Feel your body. Open, clear, clean, everything working well. Imagine that these vibrations have brought about huge healing deep inside you. That things have shifted at a seismic level. All functions of your body and now returning to perfect working order. Sometimes the physicality can take a little while longer. You just have to be patient. But you move it forward incrementally, day by day, step by step. And then one day, you'll look back and think, wow, come a long way. What an amazing journey. deep information being gathered by illness. But now we move beyond that. We keep and store the best information to help others. But now we release everything we don't need anymore. We find our bodies clean, clear, perfect working order. All functions of your body, normal. All functions of your body, normal. Just gather your hands back to your belly. Hold lower dantian for a moment. Deep inside you. Normal. Whole body relaxed. Happy. Open. Flowing well. As you stand here, imagine your wei chi layer. So it's a layer around your skin like a suit of chi, a protective suit of chi around your body. This fantastic wei chi layer. It keeps you safe. It protects you. And then round you, imagine your chi body. It's like a big bubble of chi. Meter in front, meter behind, meter above, below, left, right. You inside this wonderful bubble of chi also protects you, but it connects you to the outside world. See yourself as a being of light. Every cell in your body filled with chi. Every cell in your body working well. All functions of your body returning to perfect working order. Put an enormous smile on your face. 
you can slowly release your hands. You can bring a bit of movement into your toes. You can bring a bit of movement to your fingers and your arms. When you feel ready, you can slowly open your eyes. Stretch out. If you feel like doing a bend of any sort, just be slow and gentle. Don't rush up too fast. Bring your body back into some lovely movement. Oof. <laughs> so, it comes time for us to say hola together. If you don't want to be on this video, it's best not to unmute yourself, but I'll know you're saying hola anyway, so it doesn't matter. Let's put our hands up in the air. We're going to say hola three times. First time is hola for you. So one, two. Hola. The second hola is for your friends and for your family. One, two. Hola. And the third one, just make it hola for everyone and everything. One, two. Oh, lovely. And then we make a little salute for each other. In Janeng Qigong, we use entirety hands. So you draw your right hand up and your left hand goes down. Pull the fingertips together, thumbs on the end, elbows raised. Oh, so nice to see you today. Thank you very much for being here. As I always say, I'll put it onto YouTube. Please tell your friends and family, spread it around. And otherwise, have a beautiful day. Thank you. Bye-bye.